John lived in a big city all his life. He could not even imagine that later in life he would have a strong desire to leave everything, the bustle of the city and all the benefits of civilization, and exchange it for a small house in a remote village on the outskirts of the taiga forest, where water must be brought in from a pump and in winter the fireplace must be heated with firewood. This idea was prompted by his dog named North. North had been living with John for two years. He was a beagle breed and he constantly needed long walks and space to run, which wasn't feasible in the city. The man was always worried that North would get run over because he never paid attention to where he was going. One day, John realized it would be nice to move to somewhere with open spaces where it would be comfortable for North to run all day without a leash. These thoughts materialized quickly. John and North settled into their new lifestyle. The locals helped with practical advice on how to survive. John even learned how to hunt small game. North walked with him through the forest and followed his master everywhere. But after three years, North passed away. John grieved for a long time and even thought about moving back to the city, but then something happened that changed his mind. On one of his hunts, John heard a quiet squeak in the bushes. Coming closer, he saw a little wolf pup whose hind paw had become stuck in a trap left by poachers. With some effort, John managed to free the little pup. He then brought him home, gave him some food, and settled him in the yard in the kennel where North had lived. Well, of course, you will not replace North for me, but you will definitely become my friend, John said. So they became friends. A few months passed. The wolf grew up and began to run away from the yard. One day, he ate a neighbor's chicken, then attacked a dog. Hunting instincts cannot be taken away from a wolf. Neighbors warned John that if he did not take action, they would shoot the wolf. So John built a spacious enclosure for him, but the wolf only laid indifferently all day, refusing food and water, and then howled all night. One night, the wolf howled so loudly that John decided to go out to see what was there. The wolf stood in the corner of the enclosure, looking towards the forest and howling plaintively. The man looked in that direction and saw a pack of wolves. He opened the enclosure and released the wolf. The wolf ran into the forest and was never seen again. Several years passed. One winter, while John was hunting, his foot got caught in a trap and he lost consciousness from the pain. When he came to, he managed to free himself, but he could not walk. He knew he couldn't remain in that place or else he would freeze, so he attempted to crawl. After crawling about half a mile, he heard a howl behind him. John looked back in terror and saw several large wolves slowly emerging from the forest surrounding him. John understood that this would be the end. He was easy prey for these predators. However, it was at this moment that he noticed the leader of the pack had a limp. John yelled, Is that you, mate? Wow, what a huge team you have gathered for yourself. Well done. He knew the wolf couldn't understand him. Maybe he was just delirious from the fear, pain, and cold. But then the wolf stopped, sniffed, and then led all the wolves back into the forest. John slowly crawled to the village where they helped him. He wondered for a long time whether this was the same wolf that he had once saved from a trap, and finally he assured himself that it was indeed the same wolf, and he had forgiven John for his life in captivity and thanked him for saving his life.